the, uh, so the intellect is also called aqal. Now aqala means to restrain. So the intellect is the thing that restrains you from going astray. It prevents you. So afara ta'qilun, don't you use your intellect. Ya'qilu al-ba'ir means to hobble the, the, the camel. And the iqal, what the Arab, desert Arabs wear on their head, you know, in Saudi Arabia, they have that thing on their head, that comes from their, their Bedouin past. It's called the iqal. The iqal is from, it's a mushtaq of aqal, because it does to the camel what the intellect does to the human. The iqal is there to make sure that the camel doesn't go astray. The aqal is there to make sure that you don't go astray. So humans go astray when they stop using their, their intellect. And, and, or when they use it improperly. And, and we'll get into that, just about what's called um, real goods and apparent goods. In, in all the, the Abrahamic languages, the word to, for, for sin, to sin, means to miss the mark. It's an archery term. Armatia in, in New Testament Greek, right? In, in, in Hebrew, and in Arabic, khati'a, which is a, it's a akhta'atu, uh, al-marma. Khati'a is an archery term, to miss the mark. And the idea that sin is missing the target of good. B because you thought you were getting a good. When people sin, they're, they're trying to get something that they think is going to be good for them. Or they wouldn't do it. Everybody, that's why we're all rational. Even when people sin, they sin for rational reasons. I mean, if somebody kills somebody, they, unless they're mad, they have a reason for doing it. I mean, even Dahmer, you know, this guy, for people who are fortunate not to know who he was. Um, but in America, we had this guy that was eating kids, you know. But he was a Satanist. He, he, he worshipped Satan, and he, he believed that, you know, that he was getting some kind of power in doing that. So he, he had, there was some reason for why he did that. But people go astray, and they can go really astray. But they always think that what they're doing is the right thing. So they miss the mark. That's why sinning is missing the mark. And that's what the intellect and revelation enable you to see the mark and, and, and to, to aim for what's right, right action, to do the right thing in any given situation. Sometimes it's ishtihad, what's the right thing. Imam Omar, radiallahu anhu, he, he suspended the had punishment during the famine because he said it's inappropriate to implement a punishment on people when they're only doing what they're doing out of necessity. So there he was using his intellect, his aqal, to apply a hukum shar'i that in normal circumstances would have been one thing, but he was saying in this one I think it's this. So he was using his intellect and he's called Faruq, the one who distinguishes between right and wrong. And he had a brilliant mind. I mean, he, uh, Sayyidina Omar is a great logician, but he didn't need formal logic. In the same way, he was a great uh, Arabic master, and he didn't know formal grammar. I mean, Omar didn't know fa'il and maf'ul bihi and, you know, maf'ul bi nazar al He didn't know any of those things. 